Bear markets are scary, but they don't have to signal doom and gloom for your long-term investment strategy. In this video, we'll look at three ideas that could change how you think about bear markets and could help you on your path towards your long-term financial goals. Our first idea, remember that bear markets don't last forever. While it might be hard to fathom in the depths of a crisis or during a long bout of market volatility, remember that a new bull market will eventually appear. It's all part of the market cycle. Bull markets follow bear markets, and they often erase the bear's declines faster than many people anticipate. What's more, bull markets generally last far longer than bear markets. Keep that cycle in mind, bulls following bears, because it could help you avoid a common investing mistake. During the heat of a bear market or intense volatility, investors may feel the impulse to do something. That desire often means selling stocks in the hope of protecting your portfolio. You'll just buy back in when markets feel safer. But this desire to act may actually compromise your financial goals. The way we see it, abandoning stocks after participating in a bear's steep declines locks in losses and raises the risk the equity prices snap back before you get back in. In the industry vernacular, you could get whipsawed, feeling the losses on the downturn and potentially missing the sharp initial rebound. Over the long term, stocks move up because human ingenuity and the profit motive lead to productive innovation. So long as those factors exist, we expect bulls to continue following bears. Capitalism is the engine that powers equity markets, and capitalism has proven to be very flexible and resilient, pushing innovation forward and equity markets upward in the long run. Over the years, capitalism and profit motive have continued to function despite recessions, financial panics, market declines, coups and government changes, regulatory overhauls, epidemics, pandemics, world wars, regional conflicts, social upheaval, political assassinations, natural disasters, monetary and fiscal policy mistakes, high interest rates, low interest rates, protectionism, hyperinflation, currency collapses, market bubbles, and fraud. Even through events like these, equity markets have kept their long-term upward trend, regularly hitting new record highs. Why? Because capitalism continues to provide an incentive for individuals to develop innovative new technologies, increase productivity, and raise the standard of living. And we believe equity markets are the most efficient way of tapping into that progress. It's impossible to predict the future, but if you believe in capitalism, then you likely believe innovations will continue, productivity and standards of living will rise, and investing in equities will continue to give you a higher probability of being wealthier over time versus fixed interest or cash. Our most important idea? Understand that while bear markets are never pleasant to endure, participating in bear markets isn't necessarily devastating to achieving your financial goals especially if you have a long time horizon for investing. However, capturing all of the bull market returns is critical. Understandably, most investors prefer to avoid bear markets altogether. We believe it is possible, though very difficult, to identify a bear market early on, before the worst of the declines occur. If you do this, you may be able to shift to a defensive portfolio to avoid some of the downside to come. But to benefit from that, you must also reinvest before stocks rise. What if you can't call a bear market? Because let's face it, successfully timing every bear is impossible, but participating in a bear doesn't have to shatter your financial goals, so long as you avoid behavioral mistakes. World equities have an average return of around 8% per year since 1985, and that number includes all bear markets. For investors, we believe that means sidestepping bear markets is a laudable goal, but isn't essential if you're investing for long-term growth. It also alludes to the fact that bull market returns overwhelm bear markets over time. So it's important that you're participating in all of the bull market, and it's impossible to know in advance exactly when the next bull market will start. New bull markets often start with a bang as stocks ricochet off of the bear market lows. 
Capturing those returns is critical to repairing the damage inflicted by the bear. As you can see in this graph, when world equities reached their lows in early 2009, the start of what would become the longest bull market in modern history was quick and steep. How powerful are those early bull market returns? Look at this table of S&P 500 returns after the end of bear markets. Of all the bull market beginnings since the 1930s, the average return in the six months following the bear market bottom was 27.8%. 12 months after the bottom, the average return was 46.7%. And a year and a half after the bottom, the average return was 53%. Those returns go a long way in helping your portfolio to recover. So rather than getting bogged down in the doom and gloom that typically accompanies a bear market, remember these ideas so you can better cope with market downturns and move confidently toward your long-term financial goals. If you enjoyed this video, you can click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified when we publish new content. Thanks for watching.